open on a nondescript office, the hum of dispatch radios and phone calls filling the air. This is the world of Jeffrey Goldstein, a man who finds himself far from where he once stood. He's no longer the high-powered attorney, commanding the courtroom with articulate arguments and a razor-sharp wit. No, those days are now just faded memories. Jeffrey's present is filled with taxicab routes and radio chatter, a stark contrast to the mahogany desks and leather-bound books of his past. His life now consists of long hours in a dimly lit office, his only company the other dispatchers, and the endless stream of drivers checking in and out. There's a certain rhythm to it, a routine that offers stability, something Jeffrey desperately needs. Rewind to a time when Jeffrey was at the pinnacle of his career. A respected attorney in a prestigious law firm, he was a man who had it all, the respect of his peers, a loving family, and a future that seemed as bright as a diamond. But like Icarus, Jeffrey flew too close to the sun. His downfall wasn't pride, but rather a growing dependence on substances, a crutch to deal with the mounting pressures of his life. The allure of the high life soon consumed Jeffrey, leaving him a shell of the man he once was. It cost him everything, his career, his family, his reputation, he found himself lost in a world he no longer recognized, a world that no longer recognized him. Suddenly, a phone call. John Hartman, a name from the past, a former colleague, extends a lifeline, a chance for redemption, a chance to reclaim the life he once had. But the path to redemption is never easy. It's fraught with temptations, with echoes of his past mistakes haunting him at every turn. Jeffrey wrestles with his demons, with the allure of his past life pulling him back, but he's determined. He's seen the bottom and has no desire to return. His resolve is tested, his weaknesses laid bare. But it's in this crucible that Jeffrey makes his decision. He chooses to fight, to reclaim his life from the clutches of his past mistakes. It's a choice that defines him, a choice that shapes his future. As we leave Jeffrey, the closing shot captures a man changed, a man ready to face whatever comes next. We see an empty office, the dispatch radio silent for the first time. The only sound is the ticking of a clock, each tick a symbol of the time Jeffrey has lost, and the time he has yet to reclaim. It's a poignant reminder of his past, but also a symbol of his future, a future he's now ready to face. As the screen fades to black, we're left with a sense of hope, a sense that Jeffrey Goldstein, a man who has seen the darkest depths, is ready to step back into the light.